Hey bros, if you're checking to see if you got a shout out, then watch the video all the way to the end because that's where the shout outs are. What's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out the Rekt Op 4. If you don't know what the Rekt series is, basically um, it's a series made by Umarex of guns that are similar to Nerf guns in the way that they shoot darts. Um, but they're all CO2 powered, which is really interesting. And this is the second gun in the Rex series. The first one is this, the Op 6, and we have another video on that if you want to check it out. So we're going to be looking at the Op 4 today. So in, in the packaging, we get 12 darts, 12 round magazine, instruction manual, and of course the gun itself. Here's the gun. It's made to look uh, kind of like an M4. We have an adjustable stock here, which is pretty nice. So here's the stock, you can aim like that. We have some iron sights up here. The safety on the left side, you have safe and then fire. There is a magazine release on the right side. So the magazine can be inserted and then removed like that. The handguard has three Picatinny rails, two on the side and one on top. And basically the first thing you need to do is put the CO2 in. So what you do is you extend the stock all the way and then you pull down this lever and this like this and the stock should just come off. Then what you need to do is you unscrew this whole thing here and you take two CO2 cartridges and it doesn't come with any, you have to get your own. And you put one, the first one with the head facing forward and the second one with the head facing backwards. And then you screw this piece back on. And then once you got that screwed on, you take this piece here and you just tighten it. And while you're tightening, you should hear a little um, hiss of CO2 coming out. So just keep tightening it until the hiss stops, which it has. So we're gonna go ahead and test fire it now. All right, that's pretty cool. And now, I put the stock back on. Like this. And now. All righty. Let's open up our darts. And Comparing these to Nerf darts, these are pretty similar to Nerf darts. The only main difference that I can see is the tips on them are a little bit harder than average Nerf darts. But besides that, they're almost the same thing. So you load them into the magazine the same way as you would any other Nerf gun. And we get the other pack here. There we go. Now, according to the box, um, this gun shoots 30% farther and faster than most other dart blasters. And it's for its statistics, it's saying that this sh can shoot 90 feet and farther when most dart blasters shoot around 70 feet. To fire it, you put the magazine in and then you put it on fire. And cocking this handle here backwards and forwards, um, that just loads a dart into the chamber and then pulling the trigger releases the CO2 to fire it. Huh? Oh, that was weird. Interesting. I think my magazine may have not been in all the way. Oh, you know what? Because I did it wrong. Um, whenever you load the magazine in, you put it on fire, cock it back, put it on safe, and you have to put the magazine in while it's cocked back because if you have it forward, then it won't go in all the way. So cock it forward and then you can shoot. And that's pretty cool. That, that shoots actually seems pretty powerful and you could see some uh, CO2 coming out of the barrel. So I'm actually excited for this gun. I think this is going to be pretty nice. This gun is made almost completely out of plastic, which is great. So it's really light. Um, it looks pretty realistic. I mean, besides the color, it has a lot of details like the M uh, M4 actually has. They even put some small stuff like they put a bayonet, a bayonet lug up here. Everything here is basically blue except for the magazine, the trigger, selector switch, and the orange tip. 
And by the way, this is, I'm pretty sure, the first time a company has actually ever made uh, CO2 powered dart blasters for people to buy. And it's actually quite incredible that they, they figured out how to make this because um, whenever I first heard that they were gonna be making these, I was pretty skeptical because I, I, the first thing I was thinking of is the CO2 might rip the dart apart, it might be too powerful. But with this blaster here we reviewed before, the darts um, weren't destroyed at all, they were completely fine, and from the one shot I've shot out of this one, the dart seems to be fine too. So it's pretty incredible that they were act actually able to make this, which is nice. So let's go chrono it and do some other tests. One of my favorite parts about this gun is that you can see a bunch of CO2 coming out of the muzzle whenever you shoot it, and it just looks really cool. So you can see it here. So we figured out that it works with Nerf magazines, so you can use that. And also it works with Nerf darts. So we're going to be chronoing it with Nerf darts because we have the weight and size of the Nerf dart so I can put it into the chronograph. And if you want to chrono it yourself, then the Nerf darts weigh one gram and are 12.7 millimeters wide. So I have a couple Nerf darts loaded in here, so let's chrono it. 142.6, 103. 93, 107. So the highest I had was 142 FPS. The lowest I had was 93. So the average is 111. So this shoots like at around 111 FPS. So even though um, most of the uh, parts on here are non-functional, like the forward assist and the charging handle, one really nice thing they added on here that I like a lot is how they actually have an adjustable, they have, there's two apertures you can aim through on the rear sight. You can see here, I can flip between the two. One of them is a smaller aperture, so it's harder to aim down, but it'll give you more accuracy. And one of them is a larger aperture, so it's easier to aim down, but you won't be as accurate. And I think it's just really cool how they added that there. So we're gonna try to shoot this rival target from about 20 feet away, and we'll just see how accurate this is. Here's what it would be like shooting in first person. Um, so we're gonna be more fair and give a more accurate representation of how you would actually use this gun. So we're gonna be doing an accuracy test by shooting Jackson. There we go. So now we're about 60 feet away, and let's try shooting Jackson. That's better. So 
So overall, I think this is a pretty cool gun and it's honestly one of the coolest types of dart blasters I've ever seen because just nobody's made it before. Nobody's really made a CO2 powered dart blaster before and it works very well. Um, it's a lot more powerful than most other dart blasters. It shoots like around, around 110 FPS. The smoke coming out is cool. And another cool feature is how it just looks similar to an M4 um, with the shape. And also, it can take regular Nerf darts and regular Nerf magazines too. All right, guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Lemuel Rojas. The next shout out goes to Assault Airsoft. The next shout out goes to Justin Serion. The next shout out goes to Philippine Kids. The next shout out goes to Mom Phi. The next shout out goes to Nathalie Santos. The next shout out goes to Hannah Mikolajak. The next shout out goes to Ryan Poon. The next shout out goes to Jeremy Lojace. The next shout out goes to Venom Pool Gaming. The next shout out goes to Michelle Ortiz. The next shout out goes to Jeremiah Simmons. The next shout out goes to Jalen Caleb Millinder. The next shout out goes to Gian Agag. The next shout out goes to Wolfboy Brody. The next shout out goes to Bruxkinshin. The next shout out goes to It's Your Boy Juicy. The next shout out goes to Heather Grambart. The next shout out goes to Riley's Bricks and Minifigs. The next shout out goes to Justin Elizar. The next shout out goes to Tyrick TV. The next shout out goes to Sean Wadwani. The next shout out goes to Dylan Gudovich. The next shout out goes to David Kirchner. The next shout out goes to Terabyte F. The next shout out goes to Create Often. The next shout out goes to Cataloig Gomez. The next shout out goes to Aryan Trehan. The next shout out goes to Toy Master David Games. Bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.